Ever since new EC prices crossed the $1,000 PSF mark, the biggest question on everyone's minds, can ECs still be as profitable as before? Hi everyone, I'm Leanne from The Portfolio. The first EC to launch in 2022 is North Gaia, located at Yishun Avenue 9 in District 27. And demand is expected to be strong as the last EC that launched in Yishun was 6 years ago. It is a fairly large EC with more than 600 units, across bedroom types of 3 to 5 bedroom. North Gaia is also within 1km of Chongfu School. The break-even price for North Gaia is $1,025 PSF and the official prices will only be released nearer to booking day. Now much has been said about EC prices these days, ever since it crossed the 1000 PSF mark in 2019 with Piermont Grand. The rise in EC prices also prompted a rise in the income ceiling from 14000 to 16000 More importantly though, can EC still be as profitable as before? Let's do some comparison on the numbers to see if ECs are truly overpriced. Take a look at how prices in District 27 have moved. Between 2015 and 2016, the average PSF for an EC launch was just below 800 PSF. In that same period, private developments would launch at an average PSF of 1060. This translates to a price gap between ECs and private developments of 39% at that point of time. Has that price gap widened or narrowed? If ECs are overpriced, we expect that the price gap should have narrowed drastically. Now, if we analyse the prices of ECs and private developments that launched after ECs crossed the 1000 PSF mark, the price gap is still about the same at about 30%. This simply means that while EC prices have increased, so have prices across the board. Now, the first EC ever to be launched was Eastfield in 1996 at a PSF of about $400 and the launches of ECs have seen prices gradually increasing since then. To find out whether ECs can still make profits, let's take a look at the latest EC that hit the 5-year MOP mark and has started reselling in the open market, Lake Life. Lake Life in the West launched at an average PSF of $857 in 2014. There have been 18 profitable transactions ever since its MOP in December 2021 and no unprofitable transactions. It is also worth noting that there are two future EC plots that have already exceeded North Gaia's land bid of 576 PSF PPR, one at Tenga at $603 and another at Tampanese at $659. Now, what are some of the pros and cons of North Gaia? Some of the pros include Firstly, good size development. With 616 units, we can expect the transaction volume to be healthy in the resale market in future. Secondly, as with all ECs, there is no APSD payable for existing HTP purchases as they are required to sell their HTPs within 6 months after collecting keys to their new ECs. This helps lower the down payment compared to buying a private development. However, this will also mean that the purchasers will need to service both the mortgages for their HDBs and the new ECs at the same time. Thirdly, latest round of cooling measures do not affect ECs as the mortgage servicing ratio is not affected. And as for the cons of North Gaia, they include Location North Gaia is not near any MRT. But having said that, it is not uncommon for an EC to be further from an MRT station due to the lower land price. Secondly, the wait. At this point of time, the official TOP date has yet to be announced. Let's take for example 3 years construction and another 5 years for the minimum occupation period. This will mean it will take a total of 8 years in order for your gains to be materialised. Hence, you have to prep yourself for a longer holding period. Having said all that, selecting the right unit is still important. Do take a look at my other videos to learn more. If you are keen in North Gaia, the registration period starts March 2022. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!